Weather Storm Shield forecast only on Fox 47 News. Well, Caleb, you know how excited I was that we got that warmer weather and the sunshine back this weekend, but I may or may not have forgotten to wear a little bit of sunscreen and I got a little color when I was oh, outside you, you got today. The sunburn. I did. Rough. That was me last weekend, but so I can't really make fun of you at all, but it happens. <laughs> but yeah, it was all it was plenty of sun today at Crossman, Michigan. If you were out about, hopefully you weren't like Nicole and you used your sunscreen. But uh, yeah, it's this is culminating into a nice evening for us as well. We had some showers approaching from the north, but for the most part, those have dissipated, leaving us with a nice evening. Here's a live look outside of our studio. We are mostly clear right now. Our temperature is at 74 degrees. We're in the low 80s today, so we are cooling off pretty quickly, but I don't think we're gonna get a whole lot cooler as we move through the overnight hours. Here's the almanac. We got to 83 degrees for a high today, just barely above average. Our low is slightly below average tomorrow. Uh, well, we're going to get well above average temperature wise. We're going to be a couple of oppressive days in store for us. Temperatures elsewhere right now. We're at 69 degrees in Elma, 68 in Owasso, 74 in Lansing, 71 in Charlotte, 68 in Marshall and 68 degrees in Coldwater as well. Dew points. So dew points right now in the upper 50s, low 60s. These are going to continue to rise actually as we move through the overnight hours, eventually kind of starting us off on the sticky side tomorrow. And then we're going to see these climb towards the 70 degree mark. And that is why it's just not going to feel all that great outside. And it's going to be that way on Monday as well. With that, we'll have a lot of juice in the atmosphere helping to uh, produce some thunderstorms for us uh, potentially tomorrow and Monday as well. Here's the satellite and the radar. As I said, we had some sh those showers approaching Gratiot County there. For the most part, they are fizzling out. Really not a lot of energy for those to work with here in mid Michigan. So we will be dry overnight across the region. Let's go ahead and time out the forecast for you guys. Move through the overnight hours. You can see we have this uh, south flow. Because of that, that is why the, the humidity and the, the, high, the temperatures continue to be on the increase. This whole last week, we had that east-northeast flow and that high pressure that, that kept cooler air in place, and that has now moved off, allowing this much warmer air mass to move in. So moving through the overnight hours, we'll be partly to mostly cloudy by tomorrow morning. We'll start off with a mix of sun and clouds. Tomorrow looks like a pretty nice day across Mid Michigan. It's just going to be on the hotter side, and it's going to feel pretty muggy as well. With that increased uh, energy or ju juice, if you will, in the atmosphere, there is a chance for a thunderstorm to pop up in the afternoon. Not very widespread, you can see in this particular model, but you can see these clouds. These will be uh, some cumulus cloud development, and with that, you could see a shower or thunderstorm. Now, the better chance for showers and thunderstorms is going to come Monday uh, morning and then later on in the late afternoon as well. You can see, looks like we're going to have an initial batch of showers and thunderstorms move through in the morning, then we'll clear out behind that. And with that, you'll start to have increasing instability. And then by the late afternoon, early evening hours, you can see this pretty uh, serious line of storms looking to pass through. And with that, some of these could be on the stronger side as well. Heavy rain, gusty winds, uh, some frequent lightning going along with that. Behind that, though, we clear out pretty quickly, and that cold front ultimately passes through uh, late or er, early Wednesday morning. Behind that, drier air setting up a pretty nice work week, but it looks like it'll be a nice work week for us. Here's the temperature trend. So again, we're going to be on the hotter side tomorrow and Monday. Temperatures getting in the upper 80s. With Dew points climbing to around 70 degrees, so it's going to feel pretty oppressive out there for Tuesday. Behind that front, we do cool off a little bit more towards seasonal levels in the low to mid 80s. And then we're going to kind of continue to fall off temperature wise as we move through the rest of the work. They're eventually getting into the low 80s uh, for the second half of the work week. The forecast now we get down to 66 degrees, mostly clear. We'll see uh, humidity on the increase for tomorrow. 88 degrees for a high, lots of sunshine, but there's that slight chance for a thunderstorm to pop up in the afternoon. Now let's take this seven day forecast kind of bit by bit here. Warmth and humidity is going to return for us Sunday and Monday here. So let's go ahead and show you guys what that's going to look like tomorrow with the uh, muggy meter. When you have dew points around 70 degrees, well, that can feel pretty oppressive. And that is where we're going to be at uh, for tomorrow and Monday as well. And as I was talking about those thunderstorms moving through on Monday. Now the National Weather or the Storm, Storm Prediction Center in Norman, Oklahoma, it actually has us in a slight or a marginal risk for severe weather. Some of our region, some of our region there, uh, I think that actually might extend further into mid Michigan because it is starting to look like it's going to be a pretty uh, significant storm outbreak on Monday. Then the rest of the forecast, we do clear out, as I said, partly sunny Tuesday, Wednesday. We turn mostly sunny on Thursday. That cold front kind of stalls out south of us. If it lifts northward a little bit, we could see some showers Wednesday and Thursday. But for the most part right now, I have a dry forecast for us with temperatures in the low 80s through the week. And then by next week, a weekend, a couple of showers on Saturday with a high temperature around 82 degrees.